Hey guys, welcome back to the Street Stomper page. So I have found myself in a bit of a pickle and I need your guys' help to get this figured out. So on my gaming channel, I've had a few people reach out and ask, where did the name Street Stomper come from? Well, a bit of history is, I used to be pretty big into drag racing and there was some event, I can't remember what was happening and you had to come up with a nickname and I couldn't think of a nickname for the life of me. And then um, we were just sitting there, my ex-wife and I were sitting there, and this name just popped out of nowhere. And that was it. And I'm talking way back in the day. I'm talking like 2004. About 2004 when we came up with this. And of course, we weren't into the whole YouTube thing and all that at the time. We didn't start this YouTube page until 2007. So um, we started that name and started rolling with it. And we did put some... Uh, a lot of drag racing stuff on this channel but I wasn't aware of the whole music copyright thing so like 95 no actually like 99% of those videos were copyright claims on them and it muted all the audio because um, you can either have it play their music and you lose the monetization and back in the day before YouTube changed the rules we were monetized so we were getting you know a cut but um, the other option was to just mute that audio. Well, what good is a drag racing video with no audio? But I want your guys' opinion. Do you guys want to see me take this channel in the direction of kind of street car stuff? You know, more in line with what I used to do. You know, the performance cars, performance... I mean, we did some performance truck stuff too. Or do you like the idea of the off-road stuff? Um, what I'm leaning towards is doing streetcar stuff, primarily streetcar stuff, with the odd off-road type, you know, adventure. We'll def we're definitely going to do some adventures with the family and whatnot, and we're going to get into some quote-unquote trouble off-road um, and recoveries. That's something that's I run a recovery group here, so that'll be definitely something that'll still make it onto the channel, but it won't be focusing primarily on that. Um, I'm really thinking that's the way to go and I want your guys' opinion. I'm just, I'm kind of, I've hit a crossroads here, you know, I'm, so my main reason for thinking about this is the, the off-roading community here versus where I was before is a lot different. The terrain here is a lot different. And to me, to be honest, it's not as exciting. And if I'm going to be doing a lot more off-roading, it entails going a lot further away, which makes it a lot harder to make content consistently. So that's why I'm thinking, go back to some streetcar stuff, put some street stuff, streetcar stuff, you know, in amongst the channel while I'm making these adventure type videos that, because the, the, the terrain that's here is, it's good terrain, but it's not exactly what I would call extreme off-roading whereas where we were that was extreme off-roading uh you can look back at some of the videos some of those videos in there um it's pretty gnarly stuff it may not look like it on camera and most of that stuff was filmed with a phone before so it didn't really show you know the terrain all that well but let me assure you it was like 10 times what it is here it's just here there's a lot of gravel roads with some trail upshoot trails and some a few exciting things but most of them don't really go anywhere whereas where i was you could pretty much pick a spot and you could go for hours and hours and do like you know a loop through one area you could go into one town you could it was really cool and well we don't have that option here i mean you can connect towns here but it's just boring gravel roads so i do have a few pictures of a few of the cars um unfortunately a lot of this stuff was lost uh during my divorce when of course computers went missing hard drives went missing you name it it went missing so i managed to pull a few off of my uh, facebook page so let me open these up here turn on a display capture here so how can i do this so let's minimize my camera here Whoop. Now, there's not very many in here but there's a few so we have our 66 Mustang that we were doing. Uh, this was probably by far my most favorite project. Um, 
uh, Mitsubishi Eclipse. I don't, I don't remember Eclipse. I don't remember what year this was, but it was turboed. It was absolutely insane. Um, heck of a quick car. So uh, this one was a very short-lived project. It was a 1962 Olds, and we bought it with the intent on doing a complete restoration, but. Clearly, ex-wife got in the way of that one, so it had ended up sitting for a very long time. And I ended up just flipping it for, you know, a couple bucks more than I paid for it. Uh, that was the Mustang. I believe that was right from the interior shop. Just got the interior done at this picture here. Then we have uh, one of my Fox bodies. So I had to interrupt here for a second. So I should have said... When I said uh, one of my Fox bodies, I actually had, I believe I had four, one, yeah, four of the Fox bodies. So unfortunately, this is the only one I had uh, pictures of, as I stated previously, why I only have the pictures I do. But um, yeah, I just wanted to uh, put that in there. So. so I had, oh, that's a terrible picture. You can't really see that. I don't know. Can we zoom in on this? Let's try to zoom in. Um, no, it doesn't really. So that's a uh, 1990. This was by far one of my favorite cars. Uh, this is the one I did uh, most of the stuff to. So it ended up nowhere near stock. It was absolutely. And then there's quite a story about this car. Um, and we'll go into that into another video about how I acquired it. And then um, where it is now. Uh, people that know me, they know where it is. So uh, there's that one. So then we have our, uh, what the heck, uh, Dodge Magnum. This thing was super cool too. This was a really fun car. And I mean, it wasn't really fancy, but I did a few things to this to make it a little bit quicker. And it was just fun to drive around. It was built on our, I believe it's a Mercedes S class. So it was pretty dang cool. And then if you follow the channel, of course, you know my Hummer. So there is a lot more vehicles that aren't in here. Uh, there's one of my F-350s that we lifted, put a bigger turbo, bigger injectors, um, all that kind of stuff. That's not in here. I don't have any pictures of that one. I think there might be some videos of it on my YouTube. I, I can't remember. I have so many videos on there. But um, yeah, that's it. I'm thinking of going back to my roots of, you know, cars and trucks as opposed to just trying to stick it with... Uh, with one thing so let's get our camera back here Whoop. turn this on so yeah let me know what you guys think uh, is that something you want to see is it um a bad idea for me to look at getting back to my reits root reits is it a bad idea for me to be looking at the idea of going back to my roots of streetcar stuff um i want your opinion i want to take this channel somewhere i want to do big things so um let me know what you think. So drop a comment below with what direction you'd like to see this cha channel taken. Uh, if you like this video, please smash that like button. Um, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button with the bell notification on to ensure you don't miss a thing. And until next time, have yourself a good day and we'll see you next time.